SSIS learning module for the CDC is going on and in the previous video we have seen how to configure the CDC feature in SQL Server and in this video we will see how to use the CDC feature for the initial data load. Initial data load is a one-time execution. It will extract all the data from the source and then load into the destination. For this CDC control task is used and uh, we will go into the SQL Server data toll. We will see how to use the CDC control task for the initial data load. This is the SQL Server Management Studio and um, this is our uh, source instance and this source instance will contains our source DDB from we will extract the data from customer source table and we will load this data into the destination instance which name is this one and here our destination db is this trading db dw so we will extract the data from our source table customer source and we will load here in this database and uh, right now if i will go and check my source table there are some records and uh, it's almost 2001 records so i have to design the package by using the cdc feature which will do the initial data load and it will load all these 2001 records into the destination database this is the sql server data tool and this is the sql server data tool and here i will design the package for the initial load by using the cdc so i have to use the cdc control task this cdc control task will use to for the initial load and uh, i have to configure it and first i have to give this proper name uh, this control will mark for the initial load I have uh, used the proper naming convention. Now I have used to configure this control. Here I have to mention my CDC enabled database. And uh, this is the instance where I have enabled the CDC database. Name is the trading DB. So I will use this one. And here this is the CDC con control operations. I have to select here that, that this is the initial load because I will use for the initial load. So I have to select the initial load will start from here it, it will hold these states that from where this initial load start and where it will end so this cdc control will hold these states and here i have to create the variables with cdc variable which will hold the states so what this here variable uh, will do the, this cdc control task creates a new table with which will hold the cdc states this cdc state we can also retrieve by using this same control the cdc state table is hold the states of our data that how much is our data is old is up to date by using this cdc state table we can know the about the uh, our data's uh, uh, over data age and uh, the to by in our SSI package, we can retrieve this state and we can keep in a variable and uh, this control will, will create a variable by default the name is CDC state. This state will hold the state of our data from the CDC state table. So now we will use this control and we will see how to create the this variable and this uh, CDC state. We have to create the new variable and I already created its name is CDC state which will hold the state of our uh, data and uh, here I have to connect the destination where the de initial load will be loaded and our destination instance is 2017 and database is DBDW and this table state table will be created here. So now I have to create this CDC state table which will hold the state of our data and um, I already created this there and this is the name of the CDC underscore states. This is the table name in this uh, instance over at our destination and it will hold the states of our data 
and to retrieve the states we need a variable in our package and uh, this is the variable name cdc underscore state cdc underscore state this is the variable name and this is the uh, field which will hold the states so this is uh, we have configured uh, the initial load start and now we have to use the data flow task to load that data I have to use the ADO.NET source control because it supports the CDC and I have to configure my source my source database is, is trading db and this is the source instance and uh, here i have to select my source table it's customer underscore data here all our table are coming the system tables and my user defined table this is the customer data which holds the data if i can want to see this is the data customer underscore data and i will use these all columns and then I will use the drive control which for the transformation. So for this is the drive column control I will use to add one more column which will the date column and it will hold the load data load date and uh, I have to configure this one. Here I will define this a new column. This will, when the data will be loaded, this will keep the uh, date of the load data. So this column is created. Now I have to use the ADO uh, nets destination. So I have to configure my destination and my destination is the 2017 instance and this is my destination DB. And here I will create a new table for this uh, data load. So I will create this, use the name of this is the name I will use and uh, I have to map the columns and this all the column from the source and destination will be mapped. So initial load a data flow is ready and now I have to go again onto the control flow and this is the initial load start then it will this will hold the state uh, the variable will hold the state of the initial load and then this data flow task will be executed and after that I have to uh, end the initial load. So I have to use the same CDC control task. this initial load end and I have to configure it this is my source and mark here I have to select mark initial load end the variable this variable will keep the state and this is my destination okay and table I already created the CDC state and it will keep the states so my package is designed for the initial load so I have will execute this package Package is successful executed and now we will go to our SQL Server Management Studio and we will see the data 
is uploaded into our destination and how much data is uploaded this is sql server management studio and this is our destination instance name and this here we have created a new table in our destination database for the initial load so we will see the this table its name is customer underscore data underscore destination so this is the tables i will check the data in this table so the records are inserted in this table so our initial load is successful